Uh, at this point, uh, the chair recognizes Mr. Case for five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Administrator. Good to see you. Aloha. Um, I think you were infected by the Speaker's Minute, by the way, over in the House. I don't think it was the Senate. Um, <laughs> So I, for, the first thing I want to do is just a comment. I know that my colleague, Ms. Meng, was, was inquiring of you as to uh, STEM education and particularly um, NASA's efforts to uh, facilitate uh, minority representation within your ranks, which I uh, very, very much um, endorse. Um, I also want to thank you because uh, we are the benefit of some of NASA's uh, STEM education and particularly um, your um, Minority University Re Research and Education Program, Europe. Uh, which um, uh, is a is a is an avenue uh, for many of our underserved and underrepresented uh, communities uh, to go into the sciences uh, generally and to go into NASA particularly. And I can I can give you some examples of that in my own backyard where that's been very successful. So I would simply comment to you that I hope that as you refine your budget, um, that you give uh, great attention uh, to your STEM and Europe programs, which are invaluable. I think not only to your workforce. Uh, but to your public image, uh, which is always uh, something that you want to maintain the broad community's support. So I, I give you that. Um, I, I accept your invitation to Mr. Garcia to uh, delve into NASA's um, activities in my own district, uh, which of course is, is Hawaii. And, and in Hawaii, your activities are world-class telescopes um, uh, on, on world-class uh, locations in Mauna Kea, uh, Mauna Loa, Haleakala that, that host uh, the world's leading uh, telescopes from all around the world, including, I think you've got uh, somewhere in the range of, um, I want to say five uh, telescopes uh, that are NASA connected one way or the other, either you have an ownership interest or you have cooperative agreements. Um, these are primarily focused in the planetary science and astrophysics um, area where I don't think that you have actually find your budget in those areas. Uh, so um, I think the first thing I would ask you is just straight out. I mean, is there any cause for concern there where somehow you're contemplating a, a reduction um, in those budgets? I, I certainly hope you recognize the value of, of, those, of those telescopes to NASA's mission overall and, and would continue your support. No, sir, you don't have any concern. As a matter of fact, in the skinny budget that has been released without the details, they did... Uh, uh, release the details from the uh, White House that uh, the science budget is going way up. If, if on the top of my head, I remember it's going up by three hundred uh, a million dollars. And uh, and by the way, uh, Congressman, I've been to the island of Hawaii and I've been up to the top of both of those mountains. One of them, uh, you've got the uh, the environmental experimentation and on the other one which is a little higher and we had to use oxygen to get to the top of it you've got all those space uh, telescopes and uh i've seen those uh the three uh, to which you refer i think they have a brilliant uh, future and i think the in significant increase recommended by the president in his budget uh, is an indicative of the support for the science budget. Okay, well, I really appreciate that. Those are world-class. Um, the the uh, atmospheric one you're referring to is the NOAA uh, Mauna Loa Observatory, which this subcommittee also has jurisdiction over. So I appreciate that, you, that you're that you aware of that world-class uh, um, observatory. And that interacts particularly with uh, NASA's efforts on climate change because uh, the world leading research on climate change actually is occurring at Mauna Loa. Let me go back to Mauna Kea for a second. That's the higher one where you, you needed to uh, use the oxygen uh, to get up to the top of. Um, there have been some, the summit of Mauna Kea state land uh, that is that is uh, operated at the summit uh, uh, on a lease to the University of Hawaii. Um, and there has been some discussion in altering that governing uh, function um, um, in Hawaii to something other than the University of Hawaii. Some of the other federal agencies that operate uh, within the, the observatory precinct, uh, the science precinct, as we say, on the, on, the, on the summit of Mauna Kea, have expressed some concerns about altering that governance. Uh, I know the National Science Foundation has those concerns. Are, are you aware of that issue? I don't expect you to be aware of it down to that level of detail, but if you are, um, great. If you're not, I'd love to 
uh, ask for your thoughts um, 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 after the hearing on whether uh, NASA has any uh, particular thoughts on governance, because we definitely want to get this right. That lease is invaluable to our um, astronomic uh, efforts uh, really across the world. Well, I'm aware simply because we've got great staff that have made me aware of it, anticipating that you might ask about that. And we do not expect a change in Mauna Kea Management Organization to have a material impact on NASA's role in the Keck Observatories. Okay. Uh, NASA provides the funding directly to uh, the Keck Management Organization, which is at the University of Hawaii. Okay. Okay, well, that's a great staff, Administrator. I, I, I appreciate uh, the response and the and the prep. Um, I'd love to work with you on Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa and Haleakala further and on NASA overall. Thank you very much. By the way, I went up there to those two mountains with uh, Brian Schatz, and uh, they had all kinds of experimentation going on up on the NOAA uh, uh, experiments. And by the way, you may not know, I think it's two thirds of NOAA's budget uh, is paid back to NASA because NASA builds and designs the very uh, specific instruments that measure all of the climate that NOAA then operates. I did not know that, but it sounds like uh, sounds like the right relationship. Yes, Thank sir. you again.